Okay, let's take a look at another racial problem. Let's do problem number 12, where we're talking about the ratio of, notice this is flour to, real important word, sugar. This is telling me that my ratio is going to be flour to sugar. Okay? So, now, if you notice, they told us that we had two and one-fourth cup of flour, and we also had, so let's set up our ratio. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the problem so that we have, for every three cups of flour, we have one cup of sugar. With a ratio, we need to set up another ratio. But remember, this has got to represent flour, which is, they said it's two and a fourth. So I'm going to change that to 2.25. Makes it easier to use my calculator, which we have now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to solve our x. Remember, with racial problems, you can cross multiply. So I'm going to do this equal to this. Okay. Now, once you've crossed multiply, we're just going to solve for what? For x by dividing both sides by three. And when you end up dividing both sides by three, you'll notice what you'll end up with is actually x, which is equal to 0.75. Well, we know we won't leave that as 0.75. We'll change that to three fourths cup of sugar, which sounds very reasonable. So therefore for this recipe, the recipe will need three-fourths cup of sugar. Very simple. Racials actually can be a lot of fun. Now my next sheet that I'm going to show you I'm not going to finish the problems, but I'm going to kind of give you an idea of what should you be doing when you go to do problems 9, 11, and also problem number 13. If you take a look at problem number 9, like I said, and I'm not going to work them out, but I will show you. So for problem number 9, we've got caramels and nuggets, and they said that it's 4 to 3. So, as you go down, if you take a look, they tell you that there are 42 total chocolates, and X of them are going to be caramels, and if that's the case, then we know, as previous, 42, which is the total, minus the X, which is the caramels, will give you the number of nuggets. So now you can set up your total equation so that you should have every four caramels give you three nuggets and then this is also caramels to nuggets and don't forget you're going to cross multiply like this and set everything then equal to each other so it would be something like this 3x which is equal to 4 and then put in parentheses and go from there and I won't complete the problem I'll let you complete it and let's take a look at another problem just kind of take a look. And this is problem number now. It'll be problem number 11, which happens to do with puppies and dogs. That for every seven puppies, there are four dogs. And so therefore, the equations are very similar. Seven to four, there are a total of 55 dogs and puppies. I'm letting X represent puppies. So therefore, the total minus the puppies gives us the dog. Once again, you're going to what? Cross multiply again, same thing as you did before, here and here, and end up with this. So that should be a 7. Okay, so it's the same thing. Then you have one more problem, which I'm just going to show you the setup, and I'll let you complete the whole process. On problem number 13, they're talking about vitamin C and vitamin E. So they're saying for every 40 tablets of vitamin C, there are 13 tablets of vitamin E. Once again, the units are here. We're going to set it up 40 units to 13 units, 200 over 6, and once again, you're going to cross multiply 
looking for X, which happens to be the number of units of vitamin E. That should help you as far as setting up uh, racial problems.